What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Scarlet. Last time, we managed to explore a little bit more within the Glossiato Mountain. We managed to traverse up the mountain and made it on over to the gym. Which turns out to not be any sort of city and is just kind of on the mountainside. We then took a bit of a detour on over to the Asiato Desert and managed to defeat the Great Tusk Titan. Beating the fourth Titan overall. In this episode, we are off heading on over to Alfornada. Uh, I was kind of debating which gym to go after and... Still kind of debating whether or not I should realistically go after the Ice Type 1 or the Psychic Type 1. Uh, but I think going after the Psychic Type 1, especially with the Pokemon in the nearby area, might be for the best. It'll give us a little bit of training for Team 1, and we'll see where we go from there. Before we actually get going though, there's something that I really should try to do, even though we're 37 minutes in... minutes. 37 episodes into this series, and we have yet to actually do this. You can see that my Pokemon are not any of the teams. We have ourselves the six unusable Pokemon. From tutorial, to fixed spawn, to trade, to accidentally caught and raid battles. None of these Pokemon are actually usable on any sort of team. Although I will, however, take away that rare candy. Instead, I brought all of these Pokemon out so that way I can maybe test out the picnic function. Because we have been out here for so long. And we have yet to do any picnics. Now, I don't want to do any picnics with any of the main teams because that should unlock, like, the, um... Uh, affection bonuses and that's something that I kind of want to try to avoid so that's why we're using the unusual Pokemon to show off picnics I uh, won't be able to set picnics in the middle of town where there isn't enough space or inclines where you might go sliding off the table okay uh, so let's go ahead Let's go ahead and... Do we have anything? Academy Tablecloth. That's what we already have. Academy Bottle. Academy Cup. Okay, so... I don't think I really saw anywhere except within uh, Goza Mesa that sold any of that stuff. But anyway, let's go ahead and make us a sandwich. Let's see how difficult this is. Try a delicious sandwich by piling your favorite ingredients up on sliced bread. If you're picnicking with friends, that you can take part in sandwich prep together. Uh, that can be bought around town. In your recipe mode, ingredients are selected for you. All you do is skillfully arrange them on the bread to make a sandwich. But if you drop an ingredient and don't get everything on the recipe, you'll end up making something different. Dig into a nice meal at the restaurant or picnic and you can get meal powers. We already kind of seen that before. Effects. Oh, okay. So this is where they actually teach you about that. Uh, let's see. More experience points. More materials. Item drop might not be too bad. Raid might also not be bad if I'm going to be trying to grind out Terra Shards. Titles? Wait, wild Pokemon can have titles? Uh, sparkling power is also going to be interesting. So we'll see what exactly we can do. Okay, so choose the sandwich recipe. Um, don't think there's really anything I really want to do, so we'll do creative mode. Uh, we do not have that many things here. So ham. Gonna make a lot of sausages. Uh, getting ourselves that. Some cheese. And then let's go ahead and add salt, pepper, uh, butter, and cream cheese. And we'll use a red flag pick. Okay, 
Okay, so I guess that's our spread. Um, let's go ahead and put that there. Just kind of lay it out. Uh, let's maybe put the sausages for last. Oh, not quite what I wanted to do, but okay. Cheese. Ah, ah. Okay. There's a little bit of depth perception here that's kind of missing. Uh, let's put the ham on top. Good, good, good. And then sausages. Thankfully, sausages are aligned in a way. Uh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, more sausages. MORE SAUSAGES! <laughs> okay, uh, we'll put it there. And then pick! Cool! We made ourselves a very sausage-heavy sandwich. <laughs> Three stars! Ground, XP for ghost, raid for water. Okay. Um. So that's the sandwich recipe. And let's go ahead and pack up and go. Ooh, okay, yeah. I should have figured it also gives experience. Oh, no, 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 didn't want to send it back out. Did not want to send it back out. Uh, this is a very long animation. Okay. Yes, we're all done picnicking. Let's go ahead. Let's get our team back. Okay, much better. Okay, so we are going to try to focus on raising up team one. Considering that the wild Pokemon kind of around the psychic type gym are around level 40, that should be a decent spot for some trading. Okay. We'll head up this way. Looks like a gimme goal respawned over here. Actually, I specifically avoided going after the trainers here. How tough are the trainers? Okay, what do you have? You have a Go-Go! What level? 38! Okay! I'm feeling confident. Sea bomb Ooh, that did a lot. Um... Let's go ahead and switch on over to Jehudi. Okay, well, I'm kind of glad that I opted not to go after the trainer uh, when I was here the first time, because that would have been very, very frightening. Hmm. Then again, that bulk up isn't helping. And team one is definitely a physical type of team. Still, one more aerial I should do it. And he's just gonna keep using bulk up. Uh, okay, I am perfectly content with that. Ooh, what Phoenix learned? Uproar. Uh, I don't think uproar is really that good of a move. Um, e mm, well, actually it has a base power of 90. Although, huh. 
I think Headbutt's probably better. Even with the boost to its special attack, I don't think Uproar is better than Headbutt. Okay, uh, well, I just bought a crap ton of water. So that helps out a lot. Uh, okay. Let's see about the Pokemon that are down here. Got Bombardier. Magikarp, that's a lot of just... They're all on a little island. Let's see. Golduck. Level 35. Okay, um... I guess we can use Bolo to get some experience. Just gotta avoid the flying types unless I have Arthur out. Yep, lots of Magikarp. Okay. And how much experience does that give? A decent amount of experience. Oh, speaking of Arthur. Stealth Rock. Uh, really don't need Stealth Rock for a single player playthrough. Ooh! All right, Arthur evolved into Garnacle. Gar gar Garganical. Garganical. Garganical, the rock salt Pokemon. Garganical will rub its fingertips together and sprinkle injured Pokemon with salt. Even severe wounds will promptly heal afterward. Huh. Literally salt curing them. <laughs> Hammer arm. Ooh, hammer arm. Uh, lowers the use of speed stat, which honestly isn't that big of a deal. Um, I guess I could get rid of headbutt. It doesn't get same type attack bonus, and it'd probably be better than potentially causing flinching. All right. Hmm. Oh, the Shelder. Uh, let's see. Shelder Cloister. Cloister is gonna be, uh, maybe a little bit more tricky. Because it is also part ice type. Oh, and it chooses... It doesn't have, like, Aurora Beam or anything? Okay, uh, this... This will be easy. Oh yeah, tackle, leer. Okay, yeah, this is this isn't gonna be any problem at all. And I'm also trying to think when it comes to between the different gyms because psychic type, I basically need dark ghost or bug. And out of all my Pokemon, only Jehudi really has anything that'd be super good. And against Ice, Arthur, technically, Phoenix might be able to do some good. But without, like, a fire type, uh, I am at a little bit of a disadvantage. Because rock and ground are not the best when it comes to taking on ice-type Pokemon. Oh, what the heck? What was that? Oh, it's a Tynemo! Man, Tynemos are really freaking tiny. I cannot imagine how I could possibly have seen something like a Tynemo. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see, what else is around here? We have ourselves a Quillfish. Wait, is that? No, it's a Shelter. Darn it, I thought that was a Barboach. That's, that's a lot of Tynemo. 
There's a lot of tiny mouth. How can you tell what is what? Man, I feel bad for someone who's trying to specifically shiny hunt tiny mouth. Uh, let's see. What else is around here? Bearskuda, Erskuda, more Finizens. There's a Gyarados. Um. Oh! I just saw you! Skrelp! Oh, that's right, he's part poison. Okay, well, that kind of hurt. Still, at the very least, Team 1 is actually getting a lot of experience very quickly. You know, I am perfectly a fan of. I would like to maybe see what Pokemon are around closer to the actual city. Maybe we can get out of the water and maybe see what kind of Pokemon are nearby. Well. Maybe try out our brand new Garganicall. I uh, will use Rock Slide. Okay, that was pretty good. Thankfully, payback isn't really all that great when Garganicall is very slow. Wow, that's a lot of experience. Okay, well... Maybe bomb fighting bombardiers might be the way to go. Torment. Okay, I have an idea. Yeah, I knew it would do payback. Alright, saving up on those healing items, despite the fact that I have plenty. I mean, honestly, recover is the only way I'm actually able to heal in battle. Also, with other moves, so, you know, you take what you can get. Alright. Ooh, Alice learned to move. What did she get? Hydro Pump! Sticking with the tight and true method of just... No 100% accuracy moves. Although Hydro Pump isn't going to be super good because huge power isn't in effect. So Aqua Tail is definitely the better move to have. Okay. Uh, at this point... Let's see. Grass. Do I really want to try to take on... Eh, it's one star. I mean, there is also the water one, but I'm trying to think what exactly I would want to terrestrialize my Pokemon into. That would necessarily- Oh, God! Okay, well, I somewhat saved it. Maybe be a little bit more careful next time. So I am trying to think, like, because I would like to try to change the Terra type of a Pokemon. But yeah, trying to find 50 Terra Shards of any given type, that's a bit of a tall order. Just trying to think of anything that could potentially help with that. Uh, that is going to be a bit of an issue. I could also try to jump down over there. But let's maybe try to hit town. So you have a Veluza. Okay, what level is the Veluza? Veluza is level 38 and he also has two Pokemon. Wow, really? Play away? 
I'm sorry, did, does it split itself? Ooh. Ooh! Okay, seriously? Yeah, that's weird. It's actually sectioned off into different parts. It loses a good chunk of its health, though. Okay, well, Sucker Punch certainly did its job. And next is Bear Tick. Okay, I'm not quite sure how well my Kamala will do with this. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, I've got a low sweep. Yeah, we'll go with that. Koala is faster than a bear. Yeah, crap. Uh, okay, well, I'm not gonna chance that, so instead... Let's switch on over to... Well, I don't really have anything that's necessarily super good. That isn't going to be detriment. Let's go with Phoenix. Oh boy, Snowscape. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll use Headbutt. Okay. Weird. So Snowscape doesn't cause hail. Interesting. It's just a new weather type move. That just raises the defenses of ice type Pokemon. That is very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead, let's get back to what we are actually supposed to be doing, and let's try to get to town. Inconsistent shadows is still a problem. So let's say for the sake of argument that we did go up this way, what would have likely have been the first Pokemon we would have encountered? More trainers. Uh, with a black belt, uh, let's go with... I don't really have anything super good against that. I guess we can have Alice. I can't imagine why. <laughs> Passimian. Okay, that's interesting. Considering that Orangaroo is in this game, I'm pretty sure Passimian would be a Violet exclusive. Okay, Scary Face, which seems very... a very dumb move, to be honest. Uh, not quite as good as I would have liked. Let's go with Play Rough. This is starting to get a little bit worrisome. But no problem! Alright, what's his next Pokemon? His next Pokemon is Primate. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. Oh! It knows Rage Fist! Then again, it is level 38. It should probably know Rage Fist. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, well, whatever. He's only going to use Rage for Oh, no, Cross Chop, which misses. <laughs> oh, I know that page. All right. Down goes the Primate. Okay. Well, team One's certainly getting a lot of experience very fast. Which I am a big fan of. Okay, so if we continued going up this way... I would have expected to find some Pokemon. Like a fighting type, a flying type... A cave? We would have been able to have reached a cave? Oh, it would have been a Dugtrio! 
Huh. Huh. Interesting. It's kind of its own separate area. So we could have gone that, and then if we wanted to, we could have continued onward. Toxicitry? Okay, um... Electric... Electric poison! Oh, we got the bow forms of toxicity, too. Okay, so this shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, quad week. Let me see all the other Pokemon here. I see Metatite, Metacham. Huh, Arthur gets a new move. What does he get? Stealth Rock, again. Okay, so we have Gibble and Gabite. Uh, Metacham, Metatite, Pupitar. Um, let's go ahead. We'll have Bolo. Because Pupitar isn't in the Pokedex. And now it's gone. Perfect. Alright. Oh. I certainly think that we're doing pretty alright for ourselves. Considering that the Pokemon here are low 40s? Yeah, around low 40s. So we're doing very well for ourselves, especially since we're able to basically utilize, you know, weaknesses to the advantage and we can just sweep pretty much anything. This is working out quite well for us. Let's land it, too. Uh, okay. We've got a trainer there. Um, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and actually, uh, give a little bit of a boost to Miriam. There we go. And then let's heal up Phoenix. All right, we're good. All right, so what do you have? You have... What the f... What is that? Rabska. Ah, uh, okay. It looks like an evolution of the Dung Beetle Pokemon. Uh, purple tells me psychic, so let's go with Night Slash. Looks like that was the right call. Almost took him out. Okay, well that wasn't too bad. Alright, and Jehudi levels up. I think Jehudi getting a bit more experience would be pretty good. Well, this is a pretty expansive cave area. Uh, I see more Pupitar, more Doug Trio. I mean, getting Getting into more battles wouldn't be a bad thing, per se. Getting lots of Gibble. And we can even get up even higher. Let's see, Dino, Pupitar. Where are you lighter than usual? Oh no, that's just the lighting. Because it always is just lighting. <laughs> Thank you. 
One of these days. One of these days. Okay. Max Ether. Hello. Okay, uh, Hariyama, lots of Dug Trio. Dino, more Hariyama. This place is expansive. And another trainer. Oh, you are a dragon trainer. Um I don't have anything necessarily good against dragon types on this team. Uh, but we'll go with Jehudi and hope for the best. Alright, what do you have? You have a shell gone. Okay, interesting. You also have three Pokemon. Okay, ah, uh, this might be a problem. Even with Flower Tricks guaranteed crits. Oh, you know what? I am such an idiot. I keep forgetting that Alice is a fairy type. I shouldn't forget that that's a thing. But it is indeed a thing. All right, play her off. Alice should have no problem sweeping these dragon types. All right, next is Slagoo. Okay. Wondering what her final Pokemon uh, will be. Since considering she's going with stage two evolutions, let's see, there's Gabite, there's Dragonair. Uh, we have. No, she's gonna go straight for a Haxorus! Okay! Cool! Also level 40. Please take it out. Yeah! There we go! Huge power is so good. Okay. Ooh, Jehudi gets a move. Energy Ball. Wait a minute. Didn't Jehudi already know Energy Ball? No, that was Bolo. Jehudi had Seed Bomb. Um, okay. Um, Energy Ball. Not really as good as Flower Trick. Not the type of attack that it uses. It is a higher base power, but Flower Trick is just so good. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see, what is around here that we could potentially get to easily without falling down? Uh, let's see, potentially way to get back up, some dusk balls, uh, let's see, goodbye, Doug Trio. What is the Terrastalized Pokemon here? It is a Houndoom! A level 42 Houndoom. Huh. I'm kind of wondering if it's possible to get, like, Terra Shards just from the Terrastalized Pokemon in the overworld, or if that's only a raid thing. Lots of Larvitars. Larvitar, Larvitar, Dugtrio, Dino. More Dugtrio. Some potions. At this point, I've kind of lost where exactly it is that the main path is. Um. Go ahead and have Miriam out front because she's falling behind again. Right, 
what do you have? You have an Electro! Okay, I don't have any ghost types on this team in case it has self-destruct. That wasn't too bad. Go ahead and make it sleepy, and then rapid spin. That's fine. I don't use special moves on this team anyway. Okay, go ahead and use Rapid Spin one more time, and we should be good. Perfect. All right. That Metatite is just, yeah, it looks like a normal Metatite to me. Okay, now let's maybe see if we can try to get out of here. So that's the way that we came in from. This place is very expansive. Okay, goodbye. Hariyama. Ah, ah. Okay. Yikes, there are so many trainers here. Like, I want to fight all of them, but I also just kind of want to get out of here. Question is, I am not even entirely sure where I'm at. I am nowhere near where I need to be. Okay, well... Maybe see if we can try to get out of here. Uh, ooh, a TM. With protect. Okay, let's try to get out of here. Without needing to just take the taxi out. Here, because isn't this just the way that I came from? No! No, it isn't. And now I am... Now I am very, very far away. I am super far away from where I need to be. Um, okay. Ah, uh, well, this is certainly not where I wanted to be at all. Where exactly? Ow! Oh. Oh, if I had just taken the opposite direction, I would have just ended up here. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that's very interesting. Probably would have dead-ended pretty much immediately, though, because I think I needed the high jump anyway. Uh, Toxic Street. There's a Salazzle there. Okay. Uh, let's maybe focus to actually get to where the gym is. This is far more of a maze than I was expecting it to be. I was kind of expecting it to be more or less a straight path. Somehow, I got to a, a wrong turn and am now very much lost. Okay, just kind of go back the way that I came. Honestly, I think if I just head up this way and follow the torches. Man, there's so many trainers. I'm kind of hoping that there's like an Elite Four, or not the Elite Four, Pokemon League rep kind of at the end of the tunnel or like where the beginning of town is. Just so that way there's a reason to kind of go back and take on some of these trainers. There's apparently a lot of toxicity around here. Oh yeah, I'm seeing them around. Uh, let's go ahead. You know what? We'll stick with Miriam. Okay. 
Now, hopefully, this is kind of the last trainer before we hit town. Hippodon. Uh, she's worried about the weather because she's a weather trainer. Cool. You're also level 44. All right, well, let's try to put you to sleep. That works, I guess. Are my grass types? Yeah, Bolo, that'll work. All right, let's go ahead. We'll use Horn Leech. We do not have many uses of this. That also didn't even do half damage. Oh no. Okay, I mean, thank you for just giving my Pokemon free experience. I appreciate it. And now we're up to Arthur, who is not even affected by the sandstorm. All right, well, this will work, I guess. Uh, let's use Hammer Arm. Not really all that much. Uh, Rock Slide isn't gonna do a whole lot, so let's switch on over to Chihuti. Having a crit will probably help. Should take out uh, the remaining hit points. Good, good. Yana's doing exactly what I wanted it to. And now Flower Truck. Perfect! All right, so down goes Hippowdon. Lots of experience. What's Miriam learn? Miriam learns Woodhammer. Ooh. Powerful move. It does have recoil. And unlike May, that is a bit of a problem. Um. I'm gonna say no, just because of the recoil, and I also have Lichen Rock. Okay. Uh, also, I have two Grass types, so that's not super necessary for this team at the very least. Okay. So down goes Lichen Rock, and that's the battle. I mean, it technically counts as weather. Rock type gets its special defense boost. And coincidentally, I had a rock type. Okay, so this should lead to town. Here we are. And there's a guy right there. Okay, if we could just kind of look around. Huh! Gontharita. That would have been interesting. Granted, we would have had to have gotten through that entire cave system, but honestly, that would have actually been a really nice Pokemon to have. Darn it! That doesn't even work on me! Okay, not quite finishing it. Okay. But at the very least, we made it to town, which is nice. Okay, is there anything else that is in the immediate vicinity that I should be aware of? I mean, there's the outbreak of Toxicity. Klepki? Um, I don't really have anything super good against the Klefki, to be honest. Well, I guess Miriam probably... Well, no, because it would have been normal damage. Prison. Okay. 
cool. That move is super useless most of the time anyway. That also did not do a whole lot. Recycle. But it doesn't have an item! Well, at the very least, it's another Pokemon that... I can get some... Uh, materials for. And down it goes. Okay, Arthur levels up, which is nice. And look at all the toxicity. Okay, soda. Low kicks. Are there any other- are there any toxicity that look very different? Uh, I'm not seeing any- I really should probably try to get that Pokemon out of the Pokedex. There doesn't seem to be anything else in the immediate vicinity that I should really keep an eye on. Uh, let's see. Metatite, Metachan. Meditate. Let's go villain. Swablu? Swablu and Altaria. Huh. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay. Uh, well, I think we are... Probably good to call it a day here. Ah, the Lycan Rock tried to cut me off. Uh, so, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Scarlet. We have made it to town. Is there. Okay, there is a League Rep. Uh, Area 6 in the South Province. Oh, cool. Flare Blitz. I have serious doubts that any Pokemon on this team can learn Flare Blitz. Can't learn Fire Fang. Can't learn Fire Spin. Flame Charge. Any Fire type moves at all? Fire Driven. Drill Run. No one can learn Drill Run. Heat wave. And flare blitz. Yeah. N absolutely nothing. None of my Pokemon can learn it on Team 1. Cool. That's going to make fighting the ice type gym leader going to go super well. Plus, I can't find any Barboach, so I don't have another earthquake. It's not like I can buy materials. But anyway, now that we have made it on over to town, we can kind of check the nearby area and really just kind of see what we have here. What are... What are those? Oh, those are Squawkabillies. At least I think those are Squawkabillies. Oh yeah, those are Squawkabillies. Okay, so anyway, we are going to go ahead, we'll explore around town a little bit, see if there's any... Uh, fashion shops or anything in the nearby vicinity. Looks like there's some eateries here at the very least. And we'll see just how tough this gym challenge is. Considering that we are dealing with the psychic type gym leader. Uh, Jehudi's definitely going to be the biggest thing that I'm going to have. Although I don't really have anything else that would be super great in this gym. Unless I can teach any of my Pokemon, like, Shadow Claw? Which Miriam might be able to learn Shadow Claw. Uh, but without any additional Dark or Poison type moves... Uh, Poison. Uh, Dark or Ghost type, I should say. Uh, there isn't really a whole lot... Okay, no, yeah! Miriam can learn Shadow Claw. So yeah, I mean, I don't think we will really need to have anything besides Jehudi. Jehudi, I think, is good enough that that won't really be an 
issue. I don't think there's any other. Oh, Phantom Force, but none of my Pokemon can actually learn that. Okay, so Shadow Claw or nothing. So we'll go ahead and we'll explore, explore town a little bit, see what sort of items, maybe if there's a quest, like a trade or something that's nearby. Uh, we'll explore around town a little bit before trying to tackle the gym. Until next time, everyone. Take care.